it's Tina from Twinkle Star Tarot. Yes, I did change the name of my channel for those of you who are not aware. And secondly, yes, this reading is late. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you for waiting for me. I am in Florida. I was, I was in the path of this crazy, uh, devastating hurricane that completely obliterated the Bahamas. Uh, this weekend was just a madhouse here in Florida trying to prepare for that. Um, also, I will tell you that energetically, uh, it, it was not good. It's not so much for me. Well, okay. So half and half. It's the storm energy. So we're having changes in the atmospheric pressure, which I'm very sensitive to. But secondly, everyone around is anxious, right? Anxious, anxious, anxious. It's just a very, uh, the whole is the collective energy here gets very, like very heavy and very, uh, you know, stressed out. So I didn't want to do your reading while that was still happening. As you guys know, Dorian made its shift over to the uh, the coast, the Carolina coast, the Atlantic coast, um, today, yesterday, last night. So I'm out of the, out of that realm now and I'm more, much better to do your reading at this time. Okay. All right. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Spirit guides in the universe. This reading is for the zodiac sign of cancer or excuse me, Leo sun, moon, and rising. <laughs> Please allow me to be a clear channel for their messages. Thank you. Okay, Leo, Leo, Leo. So Leo, if you're new to my channel and you don't know how I do my readings, I do a nine card spread. I do three cards for your recent past, three for your present, and three for your near future. I also clarify, do bottom of the deck overview, and I will be doing an extended reading for you on Vimeo. The link for that will be linked down below in the description if you'd like to check it out. Leo, off the bat, bottom of the deck. Aren't you glad I waited? 10 of Pentacles, all right? 10 of Pentacles, it signifies abundance. Some of you guys have really good money energy right now. I mean, solid money energy. Um, this is like windfall coming in. This is raises, this is promotions. This could be purchasing a new home or doing improvements on your existing home. This can also be a card of family and stability within the family. If things have been kind of crappy, shaky, um, even if they haven't, okay, if they've been fine, this is just strengthening that that energy okay strengthening that bond strengthening that stability so very very good energy for the bottom of the deck also leo uh, you could be dealing with an earth sign a virgo taurus or capricorn okay let's see so now i'm splitting the deck and i got the five of cups some of you guys are, are messed up right now it's probably why there's been so much heat to do this reading i'm feeling a little down depressed feeling like something's being lost okay especially as it relates up to your emotions this can be relationships it could just be that you're just in general feeling down just defeated um but this is a card of hope and not giving up hope guys because if he picks his head up and turns it around you can see that the two of cups is right behind him all he's got to do is lift his head up okay all right let's get into it leo 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 september 2019 what do you see for the sign of Leo 2019 September Sun Moon and Rising okay so we've got three cards for the recent past for Leo please three cards for the recent past for Leo page of Pentacles reversed ace of wands and the high priestess okay all right some things that somebody have a secret um, Present energy for Leo, please. Present energy for Leo. Three of Cups, okay. Three of Wands, okay. <laughs> They're both positive cards, don't get me wrong. Queen of Swords reversed, okay. Next we have Near Future for Leo, please. Near Future for Leo. Okay. Nine of Swords. Magician reversed, I see the devil. Oh, I see. I see. Leo, best news today, strength at the bottom of the deck. This is your card. Okay. This also signifies, um, it also signifies companionship and support from either another person or people around you or from the universe directly. Okay. So you are being supported right now. It also signifies trust, um, trust in the situation okay um, and it's also infinite okay you see the infinity symbol above her head as well all right the number on this card is number eight okay so let's talk about the recent past and I'm gonna clarify as we go through for my leaders all right so page of Pentacles reverse um, you know we've got that earth sign energy again Virgo Taurus Capricorn um, so the Page of Pentacles is an offering. Usually it's something substantial or something tangible, okay? This can be an offer of commitment in a relationship. This can also be uh, a raise, promotion, bonus, or money coming into you, okay? Now when it is reversed like that, we're gonna see it in the opposite 
way, okay? So we've got either somebody's not committing or wouldn't commit, it could be you or the person you're dealing with, Leo, or maybe you're, wait, you're waiting on that new job, that promotion, that raise, that bonus, or some other money to come in, Leo, and it has not arrived yet or hadn't arrived, okay? Next, we've got the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is a very passionate, powerful energy. You know, it is your, your Ace, Leo, as a fire sign, but it does signify new beginnings. It signifies doing something that you're very, very passionate about. For some of you, it signifies one night stands as well, okay? So you could have had a one night stand with an Earth sign or, or a very brief, short-lived relationship or just a sex-based relationship with an Earth sign, uh, very possibly, okay? Some of you, some of you, some of you. Um, either way, though, it stands for, you know, for me, if we're gonna look at this in the very positive sense, it stands for like feeling like you're ready to take on the world coming out of that phase of like the five of cups energy moving into something where you feel invigorated and passionate next we've got the high priestess she's the card of Pisces but she's also the keeper of secrets okay she's all-knowing she is she can be a psychic some of you may have gotten readings lately or psychic readings could have been watching them on YouTube or have gotten personal readings okay um, others of you are psychic <laughs> some of you have just a big secret that you're keeping okay um, we'll clarify it to see exactly what that might be. You may be dealing with someone with the initials B, J, T, O, R, or A as well, okay? Now in the present, Leo, this is actually very good energy. Now we have two threes, so you know what I gotta say. Womp womp, right? Third party interference in a relationship. Sometimes that signifies a love triangle. Sometimes it signifies a meddling mother-in-law. Mother you know, it can be a number of things, friends, whatever the case may be. For some of you, that is the case as to what you're going through right now. Love triangle, something or somebody else interfering in the relationship. It can, I've even read it before as though it were like your partner's job. If they're working too much or they're paying more attention to work than they are to you or to their friends than they are to you, you can see it that way too, okay? Um, if we're looking at this in the very positive light, we've got uh, we've got celebrations, reunions, reconciliations on the table too, Leo. So it's possible. I mean, if you're one of those Leos that's waiting to reconcile with someone, absolutely that could definitely be because it's followed by the Three of Wands right in the center of your reading, which indicates making plans uh, to move forward. Now, some of you are actually moving or traveling. Um, some of you are making plans to do so. Okay. Others of you are moving forward in the figurative sense, meaning that. Um, this this person has a choice, okay? You could have been dating multiple people, Leo. We'll just put it that, out that way, okay? So maybe you had a couple people you were trying to pick from, all right? Um, it's making a choice or decision to go with one person to join or, or enter into a partnership. Now, you would think this guy's hand would be on kind of like the one staff there that's his walking stick and that's what he's gonna take with him, but no, no. He's choosing the partnership here. He's got his hand on the two, okay? So some of you guys are choosing to enter into a partnership. Some of you are, uh, someone is choosing that about you. Whatever it is though, it feels very warm and safe and comfortable. I like it, I like the energy. We'll clarify it, don't worry. Queen of Swords reversed air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, somebody could have been very cross with you. You could have been very cross with someone else. And by that, I mean verbally, all right? Um, she's the queen of communication. So when I see her like that, it can say that somebody, uh, there could have been a, a fight, an argument. Somebody could have just said something really freaking rude to you or you to them. Okay, um, she's also a divorcee, okay? So um, when I see her like that, some of you are deciding to move on from a marriage or something, maybe because there was third party energy or something else going on. Um, so she's also a divorcee. Like I was saying, some of you are already divorced, some of you are making that choice or going through that right now, okay? Now, in the near future, Leo, I do have the Nine of Swords, okay? This is anxiety, stress, grief, depression, sleepless nights. Now, if we're talking about a divorce, obviously, for most people, that causes that type of energy, right? Um, others of you, it could be that you're stressing about this big secret that you've got going on. You might be dealing with somebody at a distance as well. I should say that too. Um, but I've got the Magician reversed right next to it, which means uh, it could be Virgo, Gemini, or Aries reversed, okay? So not in their best, best, light okay not not behaving the best okay maybe their intentions are not very good you may find that out and that's what's causing this anxiety here okay now the magician reverse i really don't like him um regardless of the sign that this person is this is a a miser he is a, a con artist essentially he's smoking mirrors he's uh, a manipulator and typically a liar he says what he 
uh, he, he promises you the world when actually he has nothing to give you, nothing to deliver, all right? So some of you are dealing with that kind of person that came into your life, maybe it felt very good, you chose to enter into a partnership with them and then you discovered they were just a jerk who talks to you like crap and is also very manipulative. They know exactly what to say to get what they want out of you, okay? Next we have the devil. devil. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn. Some of you it's going to be a very steamy sexual relationship, okay? A physical relationship. Um, it can be addictions or impulsive behavior, but it can also be this card, um, is a version of the lovers. If you put them side by side, they're actually the same card, except in the lovers, it's like a divine guidance. It's an angel that comes in and brings these two together. Also a card of soulmate, okay? Um, in the devil card, it's they're really chained to each other. It doesn't matter what they do, they can't get away from each other. So it could be that you're in a relationship, Leo, that you, Leo, little glitch in the phone. As I was saying with the devil card, it could be that you're in a relationship where you feel like you're being treated poorly or manipulated, and this doesn't have to be love, guys. This can be work, this can be friendship, this can be family, it doesn't matter, okay? Any relationship in your life where you feel like you're being treated poorly or it's a toxic relationship, however, you feel trapped, you cannot get away. It sounds like it doesn't matter what you do, you just can't leave this person behind, okay? Let's clarify. Page of Pentacles reversed for Leo, please. Page of Pentacles reversed for Leo. King of Cups reversed, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, somebody that's very emotionally unstable as well. Could have been that you're waiting on something and it's kind of like upsetting you, making you very upset emotionally. You could be dealing with a water sign who is very, they're just kind of like, they're, they're not on their A game. They're um, emotionally disturbed, okay, for some reason or another. Ace of Wands, Hierophant reversed. I do see divorce indicated for a lot of you guys. Now, when I say that, this doesn't mean that you're happily married today and tomorrow you're going to be divorced or this month you're going to be divorced. It doesn't mean that at all. What it means to me is that, um, or broken up, this can be a stable, solid commitment, okay? Um, it could be a Taurus also. Um, some of you guys are leaving something behind. It could be work too. That's definitely a card of work. It's a card of um, uh, stability, but also in, you know uh, represents corporations, institutions, um, you know things like that. It, it's work as well. So some of you are leaving behind a work. You want to get out of there. Maybe you feel stuck or trapped in your job. Others of you may be feeling stuck or trapped in a marriage, or you were. Um, Others of you were seeking commitment or someone was seeking commitment from you and it just didn't come. It was not forthcoming, all right? Next, we have the High Priestess. Boss, uh, clarified by Five of Pentacles Reverse. That's amazing. Uh, Five of Pentacles Reverse is coming in from being left out in the cold in a an emotional sense, okay? Now, if we're looking at this from a financial angle, what we're seeing is somebody who uh, perhaps has got a financial situation that is improving or has improved, um, and they're not telling anybody about it. Hiding money, and sometimes that's necessary, Leah. I'll be honest, if it's you, I mean, sometimes you get money in and you're like, I don't wanna tell anybody because they're gonna want it. They're gonna want a piece of the pie, right? And it's not their pie to have a piece of, you know? So you might be keeping that to yourself. If your money situation has improved or is improving, you're just gonna lay in low. And I think that's a good idea, all right? Three of cups, three of cups. Ace of coin, baby. Bay bay, okay. So listen, a couple of things. Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Job, if you left the job, you have two aces now indicating that a new job is forthcoming, all right? If you're leaving the job or want to leave the job, put yourself out there, Leo. Even if you've been rejected before for other opportunities, you've got your own card crowning your month. You're powerful right now, Leo. You're very powerful. You just exited your solar return, okay? You're still harnessing that energy of this new lease on life. If it's a relationship, Leo, same thing. We are seeing escalate from someone who was dating around or something that was just fun or very lighthearted or there was a third inter third party interference going on to an offer of stability or commitment, okay? Um, money coming in too. So two cards of money coming in, all right? Three of Pentacles. Everybody in Virgo season, or three of Wands. Everybody in Virgo season is like money focused. That's why I keep talking about it. And I did the money oil thing. I'm going to do another money video today, a money manifestation video um, today as well. But um, bottom line is that there's money coming in for people, and people are getting really serious right now or are being really serious about how they manage it. Most people, all right? Um, now we've got the Three of Wands followed by Temperance. Sagittarius energy. This is also healing. So it could be like if things were tumultuous and you almost broke up or you were broken up, healing the relationship, reconciling with the Three of Cups, moving forward stronger than ever. It could also be divine guidance, okay? Something being brought together 
in for you that's very fulfilling. It also signifies very strongly, guys, patience, okay? Have patience that things will work out, things will be moving in a positive direction for you. Queen of Swords reversed. Eight of Wands, ooh, that's a card of communication. It's passion too, I call it, I call it as it relates to love, Cupid's arrows. In any other sense, we're really gonna see that as communication coming in very fast. So if you're waiting on a news or message about any of the things we've talked about today, that communication does come in pretty quickly, quicker than you think, okay? So just hold on to it, keep the faith, okay? And know that it's coming, all right? Nine of swords, nine of swords, 10 of cups reversed. You know, Leo, and that sucks. You're stressing out because you're not happy. Dang. Okay, well, if you're, if you're one of the ones that's stuck in this situation, Leo, Leos don't stay stuck, all right? If I was talking to some other signs, they stay stuck for years. My Leos, not so much, okay? Um, I, I, I have yet to meet a Leo that's been stuck in a shitty situation for years. Actually, you know what? I have. <laughs> I eat my words, okay? It was somebody who's stuck in a family situation where they're very unhappy and they don't want to leave because of the kids and also alimony and things like that and financial issues, okay? But it could be that you're feeling very stressed out because you're not feeling emotionally fulfilled. Um, you're feeling like you're not supported or loved, that type of thing. Ten of Cups upright is a wonderful energy. When I see it reverse, it's feeling very drained or depleted and that's causing you some sleepless nights. Magician reversed. Page of Wands. Fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but listen, um, you need to take everything you hear this month with a grain of salt, especially if someone seems a little bit too excited about it, okay? If they're giving you a message or telling you news or they have this great opportunity, this golden opportunity or some sort of offer for you, Leo, do your research, do your homework, and above all else, you need to channel your inner high priestess and use that intuition you got going on to really decide if this person is full of shit or not, because for a lot of you, this person's full of shit, okay? With the Magician reversed. Devil. Justice, okay. If someone has put you into a toxic situation, justice is forthcoming, balance is being restored. It could be a Libra that you're dealing with. It could also be a court matter, okay guys? So again, we're gonna go back to divorce since we've got all these cards here indicating that, um, that that's possibly the case. Now, if that is the case for you, it does look like court matters go your way, okay? All right, Leo, so I hope this reading was helpful. I am going to continue this over on Vimeo. I'm gonna take a deep dive into Leo couples, Leo singles, and Leo finances and career for the month of September. Link for that will be down below. If you need a personal reading, please feel free to reach out. It is uh, Trust in Truth Tarot, my old channel name, Trust in Truth Tarot at gmail.com. I'll have all that linked down below for you. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I wish you a beautiful month, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.